Who can miss that? <laughs> wow. Good morning, everybody. What's going on? So, this is, uh, welcome to the No Avail Astronomy Podcast, where you hear nothing but the funniest and worst uh, astronomy news. Um, I'm actually trying something completely new with this, um, man, with this broken, and I cannot believe it works. Crazy lady, what's up? Holy crap, I haven't seen anybody that have been on here in a middle while. Um, can you hear everything going through this phone right now? I'm trying something completely new, uh, with it, and I'm blown away if it works. Because I'm running all my stuff with the phone. And I think it's actually, I think it actually all works. Uh, is it? Okay. Is that. Uh, is that. Is it. Drown, can you hear me now? Or is that better? Okay, is that better? Or is that so um Yeah, so I uh I can't I that's I'm having issues on the sound thing, so I'm trying to get the sound right. How have you been doing? Um I haven't been on here in a really been a little while. Now I wonder if if this is running the microphone through this. I don't know. When I went, I didn't think it was really good. It actually, yeah, is it? Okay. Um, oh, that's why. Duh. Okay. I'm so dumb. Is that better? Okay. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Is that better? Um, you know, that makes sense because through my. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I, I'm so done. I got to turn that part down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. You create, You have no idea how much you just helped me out. Seriously. Like, uh, I go, I, I do, I, I have the worst time trying to get the sound and everything right on here. And uh, I'm always like, man, I wish I had somebody right there. You're awesome. You do not know how much you just helped me out. How have you been doing? Um, I miss seeing everybody on here. I have done, I have not done a a podcast episode in it's been a while um how have you been doing did you right on awesome yeah i uh i i found you know my, uh i have a big welding um like uh mask thing and and i and i um man yeah I, you know what i found out an iphone works wonderful for eclipse uh, or or any phone really. I don't think it has to be a particularly an iPhone. Um, I found out that if you just hold your phone up and you record it, that you get everything on on uh, the, the eclipse without having to ruin your eyes or anything like that. It's I mean, I, the the uh, the uh, welding goggles is awesome though. I that's like I have a welding helmet, but you know that's uh, the goggles would be so much better than wearing a helmet outside watching you know. Um, but yeah, I need to get a pair of welding goggles. Those are probably better than the ones you buy from like Amazon and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, from my phone. That's cool. Oh, and your telescope. That's rad. I, I, um, I, I, last time I was in my backyard and I was messing around like with, uh, with, with my, with my, um, oh, what am I, um, with my phone or whatever. And, and, uh. I couldn't believe how well it worked. Um, I, I couldn't believe it. But um, I hear the welding goggles and stuff like that are like, I mean, phenomenally awesome for that. Um, which, like I was saying, would probably be way better than uh, uh, than getting my whole entire like welding thing. I wish to God I could weld, and I cannot. Um, uh, solar film. That's an awesome idea. Oh, that's awesome. Um, are you in a place where you'll see the eclipse very well? I can't believe it's already coming up on April. That blows my mind. <laughs> like, I cannot believe it. Um, 
Because I, if you, if you're in the path of the totality, <laughs> um, during this April, during this whole thing, hang on, let me get to this. Um, you will be able to see like, um, yeah, you'll still probably, you'll still probably. I'm gonna here. I'm gonna post this picture. Check this out. This is uh, this is what it might look like if you um. Blah, blah, blah. Let me here. I'll put. I'll show you. Um, around the, even if you don't get maybe the totality part of it, but um, check this picture out. Here, let me post. Let me let me get back at this guy really quick. Um, let me do this. Let me, let me, blah, 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 blah. Man, I'm like so not on my game here at all. Uh -huh. I apologize. So here's a picture of what it could look like if if if. Um, because there's going to be so much going on, I guess, with the, um, during, there's so much, uh, activity, um, what am I trying to say, solar-wise, uh, this is what you might be able to see. Um, see how you see, I mean, the totality part, but those little red, like, towering things that come right out from the bottom part of that, um, you, yeah, it was cloudy when I, that, I think that, that, that there'll be so much sun activity that that will be able to be shown. Um, I, I think that, I, I, you know, obviously I don't think that you can really, I don't know, man, they're pretty good at telling like all this stuff, uh, as far as like, you know, way in the future, um, telling like the activity of the sun or whatever that you will be able to, um, actually like totally see that. Let me turn this off. I'm sorry. I apologize. That I meant to turn it off. I didn't. Uh, I'm totally not on my game here at all. Um, okay. Anyway. Okay. Sorry about that. Now you evil will always triumph because good is dumb. I had to. I had to use it. I just had to. Um. But yeah. I. So I was looking at the um. I was looking at I do too it's it blows my mind. I was talking to my mom uh, this morning and she's not real familiar with all the you know whatever the 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 um technology that is going you know that we have like and I was telling her about some of this stuff and man it blew her mind um uh, Really, that we could even use, that we could even use, um, like uh, the telescopes that we have. But she was like blown away by it. I was, I was like, I don't know. I thought it was pretty interesting, pretty cool, pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I haven't done a podcast episode in so long, and it's, I've, I've moved, and I was in this horrible like transition of uh, so much going on uh so really i haven't really been up on my game on um a lot of astronomy space news um the nova thing what was that the nova thing. i think of what that was um, yeah i'm not this is um I hope I can hear you. Okay. You... I can't. I can't remember the oh, details, but I can. I can look it up. So let me look it up real quick. Where? How have you been? They showed me. I've been okay. I just been. It's springtime here, so Ross right is back on. at work. Thank God. Nice. Uh, getting ready, you know, for concert season. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Good for um, hell yeah. That's so awesome. I'm getting ready to lose my sky because uh, uh, right, I have right. a light population when you know. It's concert season, yes. you know, because they won't, you know, but, uh, oh, where oh is that's it? awesome though. I bet. Man, but I yeah, bet. I was just, I just read it like I, yes, yesterday or did, maybe it was this morning. I don't know. Uh, yeah. about how, where there's, uh, it's like this one, it's this star and stuff that it like, happens like every 75 years where it's yeah. like these two sun, there's two different stars. One I think is like a red dwarf, and the other one's like an other type of star. 
Yeah. Um, and they like get really, really close. So they do like this whole like Nova thing happening. Oh, wow. And, um, it's in the constant, it tells you right where it is. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'll have to, I mean, I'll look it up too. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I haven't, I have not been on my, I have not been looking at what's been going on astronomy wise in, in a minute and I'm finally getting to where I can do, um, podcasts again and like, uh, um, yeah. I I'm have a thing that it, it. in my Google, you know, like how they have yeah. that little Google thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anything with yeah. space, oh, I yeah. have that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Right I'm on. nosy. I'm oh, nosy. Man, there's nothing wrong with that. There you go. That's the only way to figure anything out these days anymore. <laughs> oh, wait. Was. And so it's concert season. I mean, then that's. Yeah. That's. that's Can you hear I'm that? Doing. Um, let me see. No. But let me turn let me this see. thing on. Yes. Okay, this is where I heard it. Thing. I can't hear that. Oh yeah. Oh my dog. It's been. Do you live, you live in, do you live in, uh, I'm trying to remember where you uh, live. Washington, at the Gorge Amphitheater in Washington that's State. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's right. In the yeah, desert part. In yeah, the yeah. desert part. <laughs> right, right. I, I, I tell that people that go like, Washington State has a desert. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I didn't know that for the longest time until I moved up there and I was, uh, I was lived in, yeah, West, in Seattle and, and I, uh, I forgot about that part of Washington. It's so pretty. I love. I Probably mean, came over I to the gorge to see a show. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's awesome. I would totally love, 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 love to go back to Washington. I love it there. God, it's beautiful. Has how's the weather been lately? It's raining right now. Is it? Yeah, yeah but we need, you know, we need the rain. We always need the rain. So. Yeah. Right. 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 That's very really true. It's down. I I need to. Get, and back on my whatever on this. Um, I'm so glad that you got on here. I haven't talked to anybody on here in so long. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like I'm sometimes I catch your well. things, but I'm always like busy doing, you know, oh, yeah. life oh, yeah, yeah. stupid yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I, I just moved and got everything sort of like, I, I think, except for like all that stupid small crap. You know what I mean? But like all the big mm-hmm. stuff, I'm pretty sure I've got done and I'm like super good job um yeah it's like I hate moving <laughs> and I and 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 so I'm really I think I got everything somewhat lined out and my dogs are you know yappy loud so they're happy and so I think everything's good uh no that's yeah. good yeah um I it's I haven't done anything on here in so long I wasn't even sure my account was still open I was like please be oh open. yeah it never goes anywhere. Except right, Podbean yeah. has been glitchy lately. Has it? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't been on here at all anywhere. Um, mm. well, it was nice yeah, seeing so, you. Yeah, you too. Uh, thank you so much for 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 giving me the heads up on all that because I I always get on here and I'm like, man, I don't know. I would love to get on here so I could hear it on my own, but I guess I didn't know the Bluetooth thing on here worked and all this. It's like coming oh, cool. here, I guess, somewhat. Yeah, almost. we'll see, but it's awesome to hear. You'll figure that. it out. We all figure it out. Yeah. I'm still figuring right. it out, so yeah. there's that, right, you know? Right. Yeah, it's always, and, like, it's always so hard. Like, when, when you get something down on your earphone, it's not right on the recording, and I'm always, like, yeah. about getting it done right. And all that. Yeah. Um. So I guess if you observe the sun's corona during totality, yeah, you might see, like, those pink towering things. And loops of like electrically charged plasma coming off the dark part of the or the shadow. I'm sorry, the shadow, the dark part of the sun. Um, yeah, see, that's why I'm hoping to get it with my camera. Yeah, you know, um, that would be super. And awesome. and with the with the phone because you can always go back and take it. You know, shot by shot by shot by shot by shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So, um, oh, that's awesome. And blow it up. You know, it just I don't know. 
Yeah, no way. I'm, That's super. I'm cool. insane about space, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. I got. It I, I mean, it's it's a little bit blurry, but I, I mean, I have. I took a picture of Jupiter with my telescope and had my my cell phone yeah. um, mounted onto the telescope. And I mean, like you can see the bands and you can see the eye, you oh, know. Awesome. But yeah. but it's not like you know crystal clear. Um, right. Yeah. I, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing, yeah, either. You know, I but am. yeah, that's how um, I, am with my, I don't know. It's how still, I'm you know, yeah. I still, you know, I get to I, cool. I when I look at it, you know, it's like yeah, there's there's my there's my boy, you know. Hell yeah, right. <laughs> Isn't it cool you know, to be able to have your own telescope and like see it? It's totally different. Mm-hmm. Um, it and is. Until you, and then when you see it with your own, you're like, holy shit, it's amazing. It's so incredible. Uh, when I first got my telescope, was like looking at the moon and going through all the stuff. I did I, the first time I looked at Jupiter, I saw all the moons before I could mm-hmm. even see, and I was like, and I was just fascinated by even just being able to see the moon. I was like, dude, that's incredibly awesome it's something about when when you get your own telescope and you're looking at it it really does yeah make a, it's it's pretty cool uh, definitely makes a difference <laughs> it, does. it does man it's like uh something it's just something about seeing it through your through your telescope that's yep. like completely different than seeing a picture of it like online you're like dude this is like this is my picture <laughs> it's, it's yeah it's, cool. it, it's you know, people have, I mean, it's like, I didn't really have a grasp of it until I went through a, a astronomy class. And yes, I failed the class. And, you know, I, I guess that. everybody does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the first class yeah, I've ever failed in my yeah. life. And I had yeah. to tell my dad, you know, that I failed the class. He goes, that's okay. He goes, I failed it twice. I'm like, what? You never told yeah. me this. He goes, yeah. He goes, he goes, I'm special forces. I know my night sky. So he Hell thought. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He yeah. goes, you know, because he goes, he goes, that yeah, that's what he said. He goes, you know, so, you know, I may have missed a lecture here and there. And he goes, but and he goes, and I, yeah, I failed it. And he goes, so I have only myself to blame. He goes, but that second time, he goes, <laughs> I went to every class. He goes, and I, he goes, I studied stuff and I, he goes, I still failed it. He goes, I'm like, <laughs> why? He goes, he goes, it's just, he goes, either you can think, Astro or not, he goes, and that's how they weed them out. That's why, you know, not everybody's an astrophysicist. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I took the class, and, yeah, it, I learned a whole lot, but it was like, yeah, out of right. my intelligence, you know. Because, you know, I mean, you yeah. have to learn, like, everything, you know, like, oh, and I can't, I can't, my brain can't hold that much information. I know it. No, can. it's sorry. The math, the math, yeah, no, it's the math to it all. It's I would love. I actually thought that I wanted to like take like all these astronomy class, and I started to get into it. And I was like, I was yeah. like, uh, like that. Yeah, I'm not intelligent is, enough like, for that. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I mean, I want my brain capacity to be able to do it, and I I strive for it, but man, it's just not no. The computing yeah. power in my brain is just not not that. It's pretty amazing. Right. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what we have least. friends that do. <laughs> there you go. And that's what when I first started that. That's I started this whole podcast. That's all I was really trying to like uh, reveal. Like you know, was just sort of give the you know the 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 mm. kind of the what would that be like the cliff notes. You know. So yeah. Could just kind of and kind of hear what's going and and. Without getting, because it can get really boring to talk about, yeah. as you know, space stuff is as is, is amazing as it is. Yeah, it can get really. It can, boring. yeah. When you get down to the technical, you know, yeah, da, 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 it's like, what are you kidding? Yeah. What? And it's like when I first started this, I I was just sort of trying to get to the base of it, you know, where people would not have to know too much. Um, to un- you know, and then kind of break it yeah. down to where the technical stuff was, and I don't, I don't really do that good of a job with the. Um, with yeah, the, I don't uh, either. Yeah, I just explain and, it the way uh, I know. You know, yeah, I'm not yeah, technical yeah. at all. No, 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 no. I, I, I wish, I wish that I, I could still be, but I think my techn- my technology really stops at about all this in front of me. Um, that's why I'm right. a drummer. I'm, 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 I'm a drummer. Like, we, we, we don't really have to – I mean, you, you mic our drums, but, you know, you don't – you go and you do your sound check, and you're out, and you're done. 
it's like the drummers, you know, doesn't have to sit there in tune. And doesn't have to sit there and like, you know, it's like the easy, yeah. the drummers. We got the beat or we ain't got the beat. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and man, I miss playing shows so much, but uh, I'm actually going to, tomorrow Descendants are playing uh, at Kane's. And I'm going to go to that tomorrow. I think they're playing with the Circle Jerks. Um, so that's going to be a fun The show. Circle Jerks. That is going to be yeah, a fun show. That'll be a cool show. Uh, I love being descendant. I haven't seen them in a while. So it, I'm I'm uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I totally forgot. We got Willie Nelson. Out. It's a hit. Uh, everyone's excited about uh, Willie Nelson, John Mellencamp, and... Um, that's bad. There's one other guy. Uh... Oh my God! It's like right there. Who is it? It's a big name. Fuck. That sounds awesome. That it's sounds another. Really it's awesome. another big, big guy that. My God, my oh. brain. I'm sorry, my brain's like oh, totally, man, totally escapes that. Understand. Um, exactly but everyone's saying. looking forward to. Oh, Bob Dylan. That's who it is. Man. Bob Dylan, Willie Nelson, and John Mellencamp, oh, which all three awesome. are legends within their own right, but yeah. uh. My mom, yeah. my mom loves Bob Dylan. She just, I remember when he was a young man. Uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Man, that's awesome. I and has that's... met Dylan before in back in his New York days, back in the 60s. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Oh, that's way cool. Uh, so she's like, I'm going to that concert. I'm like, okay, mom, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Willie Nelson. You know, that's he, cool, I love that's Willie. That's awesome lineup. Yeah, that's going to be, I, a, that, that is. That is incredible That is. Lineup. Uh, um, I wish we don't get many, many, that many shows in Oklahoma like that at all. We used to kind of, or maybe I just hear about them in like two weeks after the after fact, they happen. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's usually usually how it goes with me. Like I hear about everything like later, and I'm like, shit. Yeah. But I'm totally going. To I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere, but I mean, we're the big enormous. You know, it's just like yeah. it's a healing spot. Man, I it's love awesome. It. God, I love Washington. I wish, I, I wish that I. I but I did. I say this to myself. Hey, dogs, don't. You guys even find yeah. it over because I'm not paying attention to you. Stop it, Lincoln. Don't. Because they fight each other. They, you know. Man, I mean, <laughs> that's a, Lincoln is about to drive me insane. And Billy's. But I got. I have a pushy pit that insists that you know it's raining outside. Let's go outside, Mom. Come on, let me show you how to hunt. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, especially God. I bet they have a bunch of room to put, like run around out there. Oh, dude, his ground moles have taken over campground, and Jake is just have like. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take those long at all either. No, and this, but you know, I, right in the middle of nowhere, you know, wildlife yeah. does happen. Yeah, yeah, right. And man, I miss the wildlife so much. I wanted to move out of the city, and I didn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really wish, I really wish that I would have, um, but I guess. In anyway, way, I uh, thank God I don't have neighbors, dude. Oh my God. See, that's what if I, I loved about my, <laughs> Well, no, I, my issue is if I ever leave my dog home alone, he howls yeah. nonstop. And on my Instagram and in, like TikTok, dude, I put, I put the videos of his howling nonstop. <laughs> Since, but I got the ring doorbell and that has yeah. been a lifesaver because now when he goes to the door and howls, it yeah. alerts me, and I yell at him through the ring doorbell. Jake, go lay down, bad boy. Hell and he goes yeah, and he lays down. Awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's so much good reason. I think those But if I lived in town, down. yeah. It wouldn't be just my block. It would be blocks all the way around me would hate me. They would hate us. Yeah. I <laughs> neighbors hate me for that same reason. I, I do. I'm always thinking, man, my neighbors probably hate me. A lot, especially I don't. I I have my electric drums set up so they mm -hmm. I don't have to. But man, my neighbors hate before the uh, electric world and like um yeah. I my neighbors when it was just an acoustic set, I give everybody crazy throughout. I, you know, I'd have. Was you set in your basement or in the garage? Um, in my living room. It was in my garage oh. for a while. Uh, but then I found out that if I put them in my living room, uh, depending on if I work it out with like, I have to work it out different times with different neighbors, you know, so some don't get home till later. Others are sleeping. So it's like mm -hmm. my Bob is asleep at two 
Harry's awake at one, and I can like I could you know work it out, but right. The electric, <laughs> the, yeah, you know, and then the electric world, the electric drum kit world uh, came out, and and they do. My not brother had a drum set. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. There's so much fun. It's just I don't understand how any, but you'd never get to, as a drummer. I uh, I don't know how I did it without with the just acoustic drums. I mean, I drove my parents. Everybody's just crazy. Now I can just put <laughs> earphones on, and you just hear the annoying tapping, you know, the acoustic kit. But you don't have to have just blank yeah. But once you get like really going, oh yeah, yeah. Oh god, yeah. I I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to how to I'm trying to uh, figure out how to run. Especially the foot pedal. I know my oh, brother. Yeah. Dude, he'd make. He, you know, he get that in that foot like just. He's broken a couple <laughs> foot pedals. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. It's an expensive, um, yeah, bad habit. Uh, I would, yeah, I, I break my my cymbals and my my pedals a lot as fuck. Uh, but it's super fun. I still love love my drums. God, I love them. I I don't play in any bands anymore. But if one calls me here and there to do something, I, I do. But um yeah it's been a while <laughs> my brother was like i don't know he was a sex pistol fan you know he was punk so it was like yeah, my dad he would yeah. you know he goes and what is what was that and, and he goes uh oh, song my dad goes okay <laughs> and he just turned and walk away <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome hell yeah yes yeah, yeah i've always been in like that punk rock world where i i probably over overplay my drums too. Like uh, when I first started playing like jazz, it was hard for me to get that feathery thing down. Uh, instead of just killing it all the time, you know. Like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Well, that's awesome that you got your telescope uh, working like you did. Oh yeah. I mean. Oh, I, mean, I have I have a Mead. It's actually it's a good telescope. It's a Mead ETX sixty, and yeah, um. Yeah. It has that um, hand controller, which I think mine is broke. I don't even know where yeah. it's at right now. But uh, and I need to get the cables. I need to order some new cables because my daughter, when she had my telescope, lost all that stuff. Uh, you yeah. can hook the, the telescope right up to your computer, and it will track the object, whatever object that you want. Um, so badass. You know, it's all motorized and stuff, and it'll just you know, it's pretty cool. Yes. And it's yeah, it was I. It's under five hundred dollars. Man, is it? See, they make them pretty. I mean, it's a. I mean, there's still the really cool ones, you know, that you have to have a whole separate room to store the telescope in. Right. Uh, Those are still, you know, insane amount of money that I can't, you know, really say. Yeah, Yeah, I spent, you know, blah 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 amount of money on the telescope. Yeah, I wish. Look at the stars. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I can't either. Sarah would kill me. Um, she would come home from work, and I would probably not have a home anymore if I spent thousands. <laughs> you know that I would have uh, right. She'd be like, "No, Joey, that's not working." Like, no. Uh, so yeah, I think the one that I Ross would kill was me. Like Six hundred. Yeah, Sarah would absolutely. <laughs> just, I wouldn't have a home anymore. So, I think the one that I bought was like six hundred, <laughs> and and it, it's decent. Where I mean, mm-hmm. it's got the hand controller. Um, and it and it will find things on its you know on its own so that I because mm. man I, if I had to go by a chart and try to find um, I got my old one I use my phone doesn't have that yeah Starwalk and, yes Starwalk do you use pension where is this and it goes right and you, you point awesome. your phone right to it and then you know <laughs> that's oh, what I do yeah. a lot of times that's the only way I, I can I, tell where anything was. My like I said, my hand, I think my hand controller is out of date or something. Um, yeah. Some so I might just go on eBay yeah. and just look yeah. for a new one. Yeah. Or and eBay, you can find them cheaper them. too. Yeah. yeah so right. I bet you can. Um, the one, I guess you can update a lot of. I don't know the one that I had. I I couldn't figure out how to update it. <laughs> um. Um. I, I don't know what. I, I know that the on. the the. The what is the Astro Star? Yeah. Uh, if you have that on your computer or whatever, um, uh-huh. you have to just go online and then update that software, and then that software that that's what tells you know the 
hand control or what to do is how you right. go you update that. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I'm gonna have to check that out because I uh that stuff makes it it's it makes a it makes it so much well, I wouldn't be able to, to surf the sky without it. I'm just gonna not lie. Yeah. It does make life a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I found out if I had to try to surf around trying to figure out what I was looking at, I would be like through I would be in like neck deep in like papers trying to figure it out and yeah. I swear the Star hell Walk that app is like phenomenal. And it's really, really it cheap, you know. Yeah. So it, it is. you know. And now they even make some of them where if you can't, I, 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 I was paying, making the monthly payment and, um, and I couldn't for a month. So I got on another one like sky tonight or something. And I used that for a month and then went back to the other. Yeah. Like, I think there's one of them you can do like a year or something. It's like, uh, which one is it? I have, I have it right here in my phone. Yeah. Star walk. Yeah. Um, like five bucks extra you know yeah. uh it's like a year thing yeah they're the greatest thing. oh man is it yeah it's not very much in it. uh they used to be monthly isn't it i think you can like pay like yearly or like a life payment it's time cool. they're amazing yeah. apps and um it's like it's it's like gps i would i i wouldn't be able to get around the, even the city without gps and like <laughs> it's such a cheating mode but i mean it works you know that's the only way yeah. I can tell. I was looking um I was looking up some things. There were ten things that I that I wouldn't know about the um about the solar eclipse coming up in two thousand twenty four on the April eighth. Um and it was like like North America is gonna experience the world's longest land based total solar eclipse and in, in, in the whole decade. I didn't know that it was gonna be that much, but like the totality will occur on land for like a hundred minutes. Um, mm -hmm, yeah. Nothing like October's ring of fire, the solar eclipse, I guess. And uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be totally different. Well, not, not different, but um, I'm going to go over some of those in, in today's um, thing. I, it'll be, I don't know. I, I haven't done a podcast in so long. I feel like I'm. Well, you just sit down and you just do it. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. let you go because I gotta get lunch for yeah, my household. Yeah, it was awesome ready. to hear from you. Um, take yeah. it easy, definitely. Um, and I'll I'll talk to you before before then. But uh, yeah, crazy lady, have a go and super super awesome to hear from you. Everybody say what's up. Crazy lady is a super 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 sweetheart. Um. She's so, so cool. I love running into everybody. Everybody on Podbean is always so cool. Um, and I'm so glad I got all this figured out. So, like, the 10 things that I was looking at that probably won't, that I didn't know about the the solar eclipse coming up on April 8th. Um, what was it? It was, uh, yeah, I guess the totality will occur on land for 100 minutes. I mean, there's, like, a, a line. I'll post the line that's like, but after the moon's central shadow touches the Earth um, at sunrise um, in the Pacific Ocean close to Starbuck Island, I guess, in Kiribati, um, it'll take three hours and 16 minutes to cross the Earth before it departs um, at sunset in the Atlantic Ocean um, north of the Azores. So the path of totality will be about 10,000 miles um, or 16,000 kilometers long, uh, less than half of which occurs on land. Tally will move across North America, Mexico, um, the U.S., and Canada in 100 minutes, spending 68 minutes moving across parts of 15 of the U.S. states. So that's be pretty, I mean, that's actually a lot. Um, I mean, you know, for, for what it is. Um, It'll be nothing like the October October um, ring of fire than that solar eclipse. Um, if you saw the the annular you know an, annular God I cannot talk um, solar eclipse on October 14th, that's where I found out uh, my cell phone my iPhone would work really good um, uh, as a you know, uh, not goggles. If you use your phone and 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 put the video on. 
man, I got the most amazing uh, videos on my phone of that eclipse. It was so rad. God, it was. Um, so definitely, if you don't have, everybody's getting like the, um, you know, glasses and all and whatever, and uh, which are cool. Don't I mean don't. They're super cool, actually. Um, but I guess like, if you don't have. If you don't have um, blah, 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 like the, the the goggles or whatever, um, or a uh, what's that called? The a lot of people use the welders, like helmets or glasses. Um, I couldn't believe how well the phone worked; it blew my mind. Uh, but yeah, so if you saw the annular solar eclipse of two thousand of October fourteenth, I'm sorry, through uh, the eclipse glasses. I'm um, considering giving this one a miss. Um, think again. This is a total uh, solar eclipse where the moon will briefly cover the entire disk of the sun, depending on where you were. But only during this kind of solar eclipse can the sun's outer corona be seen with the naked eye. Um, so it's like seeing our star for the first time and, you know, floating in space. Uh, and it's guaranteed to leave you uh, a gibbering wreck. So don't miss it. It'll be pretty cool. Uh, remember to never look at the sun directly to safely view the solar eclipse. You must use solar filters only during the exact moment of totality when the moon completely obscures the sun. Can you look at the naked or with the naked eye? Um, at all other times, precautions need to be taken. Observers will need to wear solar eclipse glasses, cameras, telescopes, binoculars. Um, and then you can look at the sun. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, man, my phone did great. Um, so parts of the 15 U.S. states will experience totality. Um, where were they? It was, um, Mexico, Sonola. Um, so the 15 states. U.S. states will be Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, New York, yeah, and then Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Uh, and then seven Canadian provinces are Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, um, Prince Edward Island, I believe, no Nova, Nova, Scott? Scotia, Scotia, I can never say that right. Um, and Newfoundland. Um, in the U.S., the totality will begin in Texas at 1:27 p.m. Central Time and end in Maine at 3:35 Eastern Time. I always had that time for me. It's so bad. Um, Tennessee and Michigan get only a technical totality, so the path of totality. Touches a small corner of Tennessee and Michigan. In Tennessee, only the northwest corner um, is the it's in the path, with a maximum of two minutes and seven seconds at Kentucky Bend, New Madrid Bend, and in Michigan, only the southeast corner of the path, with one minute and twenty seconds of the uh, exclusive of Lost Pennsylvania Marina. Um, so it'll be pretty cool. There's a lot of states I. Actually, shocked any of them in Oklahoma. Um, a tiny village in Mexico will get the best view, though. So, if you're not in the U.S. and you're in Mexico, go to um, within the path of totality is the center point, a point of maximum eclipse, where a total solar eclipse will be experienced around midday with the sun and moon at the highest in the sky. Um, it's here with the geometry of the sun, moon, and earth line up precisely, meaning the slowest moving shadow and so the longest totality. On April 8th, that point is just four miles, six kilometers to the north of Nazas, population of 3,600, in the Mexican state of Durango. From there, totality will last four minutes and 28 seconds. Damn, that'll be badass. Um, it's part of a repeating event in North America. Uh, solar eclipse comes in f uh, families called Saros, Greek for repetition, every 6,585.3 days. 
A shadow of the moon hits Earth of roughly the same proportions in the previous one. So the only reason um, it doesn't occur in the same place is that, what is that, point three of the day around eight hours, which means Earth has rotated just slightly. The total solar eclipse on April 8th is part of Sinceros 139, which is 6,558.3 days previously on March 29, 2006 produced an almost identical totality of uh, for Africa and Asia. Um, I remember thinking too, I was like, shit, I want to go to Africa right now. <laughs> um, the next eclipse in Saros 139 after 2024 will occur on April 20th, 2042. So, man, that's a moment. Not long enough. Um, so seasons determine the path of totality. I didn't, that was something that I didn't know for the longest time either, though. Um, um, I actually, it makes sense. Um, but look at the central path of the solar, of the two solar eclipses that strike North America within the six months and the annual solar eclipse on October 14th, 2023, and the total solar eclipse on uh, April 8th of 2024, it marks like a perfect X, like pretty much right in the center. And I'm basically right in Oklahoma, like it's right through Texas. It's kind of cool. Um, man, I guess, yeah, crazy. Like you, that one October 14th, too, that went right through Washington. Wow, it really did. That's not. Um, Pretty cool. That's I love all these buttons. It's about Lincoln. Yeah, I'm gonna have Lincoln out on that one. It's gonna be too fun. Um, but one shadow moves northwest, southeast, and the other moved uh, south and east, southwest and northeast. And you might ask yourself why. Well, though the position and distance of the moon have a huge effect on on the eclipse. Um, the differing orientation of the path is down to Earth's tilted axis, which is leaning different ways during both eclipses um, in October, and the Earth moves downward as it rotates. So while in April, spring, it moves upward. Um, so I guess this one is going to be, it's a city eclipse. About 40 million people live within the path of totality on April 8th. Around three quarters uh, of them, the U.S. major cities inside the path include Mazatlan and Torreon in Mexico, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Indianapolis, Little Rock, Cleveland, Buffalo, and Rochester in the U.S., and Hamilton and Montreal in Canada. Awesome. I miss all the good shit. I really do. Although, I'm not going to miss Descendants of Land of my own. I'm super excited about it. Um, <laughs> all right, so I've got to take a short break. But I will be right, right back. Um, okay. So here's some unexplained uh, awesome things to listen to for a minute. I will be right back with you. This is super, super cool. Uh, so I'm going to take a short break. I'll be right back.
What's up, everybody? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh. That was not a, a really actually fun thinking of um unsolved I mean again. Yeah, I was I'm actually trying to doing a un- unsolved mysteries type of a thing. Um like a whole podcast on it actually. Uh I mean I don't know. I try not to get too much Uh, I try not to get into the old here's the alien thing too much. Um, Cause like, man, check this out. If you thank you, thank you. Come on, Bubba. Um, sorry. Dude, I can't believe this whole thing works. Um, I really can't. That's about what it sounds like. Really. podcast in a minute. Uh, I miss doing these. So I, I'm crazy. Um, Lincoln, I'm seriously, I'm, I'm gonna, where did, where'd your ball go? Man, so Lincoln, as you guys know, um, he, um, crashed the, our, our UFO, uh, and so it's not been, you know, working. That's what happens, Lincoln. Descendants are coming to play tomorrow night. Um, God, I cannot wait to go to this show tomorrow. Uh, I've been playing these games all day. So nobody can, I mean, I hope I don't get in trouble playing this in song. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do. Me too. Uh, Stefan, I know Stefan really well. So I think it'd be all right, but great band, great band. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So wait. Oh, shoot. I apologize. I got to take a small break again. I apologize. I didn't think all this was
All right, I apologize. Sorry, sorry. I always have my world. Uh, Lincoln, stop. Oh, Linky. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. All right, so, um, so going over all the um, bu- 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 cool. St- I mean, you know, not things coming up. Um, so, um, during the eclipse, um, let me turn down. Okay, so, um, so this eclipse coming up, um. It's uh, what they're calling a city eclipse. Uh, about 40 million people live within the path of totality on April 8th. Around three quarters of them in the U.S. major cities. Uh, I think that's what. I, oh yeah, that's what I was going over. Um, Mazatlan and Tor- Torreon in Mexico, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Indianapolis. Little Rock, Cleveland, Buffalo, and Rochester in the U.S., and Hamilton and Montreal in Canada. Um, that's really cool because the last one, I think, it wasn't. I, 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 and I think like we just got like the, the. I mean, just barely on the totality of it. St. Louis, Cincinnati, Toronto, and Quebec are very close to the path. While the inhabitants of Houston, Chicago, Detroit, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. are all within 200 miles of the path of totality. Um, um, Alaska is going to miss out on totality, but uh, not for long. I guess neither of the two non-contiguous U.S. states will see a total eclipse on April 8th. Hawaii will see... A 20% partial solar eclipse at sunrise. Um, in comparison, only southeast Alaska, west of Juneau, in, um, including Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve, will see up to 5% partial solar eclipse mid morning. However, Alaska will only have to wait until just, I think, after sunrise on March 30th, 2033. Hmm. I was looking at this thing the other day, and um, like uh, I guess there's a big uh, 2039. Like everybody's like cra- like crazy over it because there's um, a lot of talk about what was going on that year. Where, well, I think maybe that's when that. I think there's an asteroid coming. Get really, really, really close to Earth. Actually, it is. I'm sorry. It's uh, I did it episode on that. <laughs> I think it was 2039. I want to say it was I don't know. You know, a lot of these, they just, it's like these shows, they just, um, they merge together. I, I, um, I don't know what can I say? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard. I, 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 I understand why how hard to be perfect all the time. I totally get it. The UK will have the last view of the eclipse, though. So, Caps, I think, and I think you're in the UK for, um, you will notice it, but this total solar eclipse um, for North America ceases to exist on the west coast of the UK. Uh, Sunset commences on April 8th. From the west coast to Wales, England, and Scotland, where it will be possible to see a tiny bite taken from the sun in the slightest of partial solar eclipses. A very few low view of the horizon will be required and practice an ocean horizon as well as clear skies, which is everybody's, um, you know, 
And it'll probably, like, I bet I'm sure something will happen where it'll probably be cloudy here. And it'll be the first, like, complete total eclipse for, uh, for, um, for, like, us. And I'll probably be out, you know, down. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so, man, I don't know. Is everybody still on here? Or did everybody leave? Not sure. If, um... Crazy lady, it was awesome to hear from you. Um, very awesome to hear from you. Um, what was I was? B -b -b what else was I doing? going to go over? The total, yeah, I guess the coronal mass ejection. I guess it's supposed to be um, like multiple times during the month. Um, and the duration is going to be like several hours when it happens. So, um, it's going to be a real cool, uh, it's supposed to be a really, really, um, you know, cool looking, um, I'm eclipse. Uh, if we get lucky, I think the CME will present itself as a twisted spiral like structure high in the atmosphere in the sun. Um, a solar, uh, Ryan French, a solar physicist at the National Solar Observatory in Boulder, Colorado, the author of The Sun Beginner's Guide to Our Local Star, told Space.com a CME is a huge ejection of magnif magnetic field. So it's supposed to be a really, really cool um, eclipse. So nobody, don't miss it. Um, I mean, everybody, don't miss it. It's supposed to be real, real cool. Um if you don't have it, go to uh, space.com. They've got a super, super cool um, a newsletter. Um, so if you get the newsletter, it, it, it'll it have a bunch of stuff in it. Um, so, yeah, this whole eclipse is going to take 100 minutes for the moon shattered across North America. So a CME could go off just before and be visible to everyone under a clear sky. It would be super cool. CMEs can certainly happen during totality. One was imaged on December 14th, uh, and I can put that on here, um, which is just, they're just big solar flares. Um, and solar flares are powerful, you know, this powerful burst of radio waves, visible light, X rays, and gamma rays at the surface of the sun that travel at light speed. And they just take eight minutes to reach from the sun to Earth. So, uh, the light only takes eight minutes to reach Earth, as everybody knows. Um, it's crazy to think about that. Like, all the light that is hitting us is from eight minutes ago. God, Billy. Um, yeah, it's super cool. It takes eight minutes for the light to get to Earth from the sun. So, technically, all the light that we get on Earth right now is actually eight minutes from eight minutes ago so it's kind of like it's back in time light think about that weirdly enough um it's pretty cool it's really actually crazy if you... um but it's pretty cool oh oh so funny. uh lincoln don't do that he's it's all my buttons and he loves it. Don't do that, Linky. All right, everybody. So, um, if everyone's still on here, definitely hit like. Um, follow me on. I'm. I have not done any um, podcasts. It's been a minute. So, um, now that I've got this figured out, I'm going to start doing these way, way, way often again. I've got moved. Everything's really. Um, getting unhectic so that's super cool everything's out the way it is uh i think i've got some people that are coming up on here too um which i'm actually looking very forward to. uh i've got i think i'm i've i've started well i'm going to start going to this um in mounds it's just it's a, a small town right outside of tulsa where um They've got an awesome uh, telescope, and uh, I'm going to start doing the sky watch that they do down there. It's super, super.
So that'll be cool. Um, that'll be really, really cool. Um, yeah. I think that was... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so, okay. There have been a few examples um, of the premise, um, like the the prominent eruptions over the past few months, um, each of which would have given a really great show uh, if occurring during a solar eclipse. So the sun's been really, really active, but it's worth noting that the eclipse... Uh, we'll still provide a very, uh, a really cool view of stationary, non-eruptive, you know, prominences. Um, they'll just be smaller and closer to the sun's surface, but it'll be awesome to see them, you know, during like the mid-eruptions. Extending totality to view more eruptions, hopefully. The problem with eclipses is that they're only, they only last a few minutes, so you can't usually take measurements over time, you know what I mean? They're just, they're so quick. Um... But, however, you know, the sun is incredibly dynamic, uh, and it's going to be. Some pr uh, processes, you know, take minutes or even seconds, uh, such as, like, the solar flares or the CMEs. So during that time, man, you actually see a bunch. I mean, I hope, hopefully. Um, but given that it's unlikely that such brief, you know, events will occur during totality, there's only one solution to make totality longer. One way to extend it is to get a supersonic jet and chase the moon's shadow. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Scientists did that in 1973 using Concorde, achieving a 73-minute totality. I mean, in that case, it's cool, but yeah, I mean, the alternative is to film the eclipse, um, the eclipse sun for a few minutes um, from across an entire continent, hoping that someone somewhere will catch the beginning or end of an event. That rarely happens, but it will be on April 8th. That day, totality will arrive in the U.S. in Texas at 1.27 p.m. and leave in Maine at 3.35 p.m. Pretty cool. The Citizens Continental America Telescopic uh, Eclipse Project, which Capsi leads, is an uh, attempt to make a continuous 60-minute 3D movie of the sun's corona in polarized light using 35 teams of three or four citizen scientists. Um, each will be used standardized cameras and set up the, the, the setups in the hope to get lucky you know, with the sun being as busy as it is. So like, there's going to be a lot of people with really, really cool pictures. I don't, I hope to God I get my, uh, my camera part fixed um, on my telescope for that. It'll be super, super cool. Um, anyway, Everybody, uh, if you learned anything or if you had fun, definitely, definitely uh, hit like, follow me. Um, it always helps. Um, need to hit, hit like. Um, you know, and I hope to God I didn't bore you too long um, on this fun hour. Everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day, wonderful evening. It was awesome to hear and see everybody. Um, Definitely download uh, this show and keep your eyes out, everybody. Uh, and to no avail, another show prevails. Thank you, guys. I will see you soon.